Hi guys, it's Gary here at Stark's Warehouse again. Just a quick update on the the suit um, so far. The other day I ordered and received some Smoothcast 65D, the rotational, uh, the rotor casting um, polyurethane resin. And I tried to do, well, uh, my idea was to use James's method from X Robox as to coat the foam with the resin to give it a nice plasticky um, outer shell, which kind of worked, but for me it's going to take too long for what I really want, as you can you can't really see. You can see lots of little imperfections in the resin where it hasn't smoothed off completely fully so it will take a long time to sand down, add more resin, sand down, add more resin etc. So um, I decided to give up on that method and just cast it how it was with the PVA sealant on it. I tried to peel it off and it does peel off pretty easily. I can show you. There we go. It does peel off pretty easily but I thought for the time it's going to take me to peel all of it off and get it how I want it, I might as well remake it again. So I might remake the shoulders once again, since as they'll... Uh, I've given up on this method. Um, yeah, and just reseal them with PVA glue and then cast them. Um, the only piece that I have a silicone mould and mother mother mould uh, out of at the minute is the shoulder piece and I couldn't wait so once I got the resin I kind of pulled a plastic cast from the shoulder piece out. Now obviously it's not perfect because I still need to remake the mother mould and things. Um, it did tear it a little bit on the way out. You can see that very well. Yeah, it did tear a little bit on oh, that stupid camera. Sorry. There. Um, but yeah, and obviously I didn't make it very thick, so it's still fairly flexible. But <clears throat> rather than coating the entire piece with the resin like this, I decided to just pull it out with the PVA sealant, as you can see, like that. If it focuses. It's... You can still kind of see the brush, you can't really see on this camera. But obviously you can see where the joints of the foam are and things. Um, but after a quick clean up, the brush, mar star the brush marks and strokes, sorry, easily disappeared and I soon smoothed over the corners. You can see that edge where the foam was meeting. You can't see that at all now compared to this side where I've just left it and you can still see that easily. But yeah, so I just decided to, that was a quick test run so I um, wasn't expecting that to be perfect. But as a quick test run with the resin, tried it coating that but it's going to take too long in the time scale that I have. Um, I'm still wanting to get it done by Halloween. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. <laughs> well, not with my um, rate of running anyway. But I do have a week off, off of work. So hopefully, fingers crossed, within that week um, I can get most of things done. I've just ordered some um, more Modrock plaster bandages and uh, a 25 kilogram bike of Herculite 2 plaster. <clears throat> I've decided to go down that route um, with making the mother moulds rather than using fiberglass or jesmonite. Like I say, I played with the jesmonite and it's not how I want it to be. And the resin and fiberglass just costs too much. So I've gone down the, just for now, making uh, plaster shells. I already have a big roll of fiberglass uh, matting. So I might just mix that in with the plasters to give it some extra strength as well. Um, so yeah, that's the stage where I'm at now. 
Um, hopefully I'll be coming back to you soon with the molding technique that I used to make the mold out of silicone for pieces like this and other pieces um, but for now that's about all I have so I'll see you guys again real soon thanks for watching